Hi guys, it's Mary Catherine, and today we are going to be switch adapting a sea turtle. So if this is your first time visiting, check out the uh, plush dog that we did a couple weeks ago. If you're, it's your first experience switch adapting, um, this one requires a little bit more steps, but I absolutely think it is another great toy to start off with. Um, that's always been really consistent for me when I'm adapting. Let's talk about the other things you need. All right, six foot stereo extension cable. If you visit my Instagram, AAC for all, the link is in my Insta bio. You can get this for 69 cents. A zip tie, a screwdriver, a drill, and I am using an 11 over 16 um, hex shank. A switch to test your toy. I always like to have scissors available. Oh, you will need a wire stripper too, um, as well as, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, as well as a hot glue gun. Um, you can also solder or use electrical tape. I'll talk about why I like to use my hot glue gun for my wiring. So let me go ahead and plug this in. All right, let me get my wire strippers as well. Okay, so here are my wire strippers. This is what they look like. All right, so let's get started. So of course you need your toy. And we are going to go ahead and use our screwdriver. Um, now, one thing you wanna do, this seems very basic, but you always wanna make sure your toy works and kind of play with the buttons. Um, before you switch it up to anything. So you know kind of where you may want to switch adapt number one, but you want to make sure your toy works. That way, if you do switch adapt it and it doesn't work, you can at least rule out that it wasn't the batteries and it wasn't the toy. So I did test my toy. I know that it works. Um, I also went ahead and unscrewed all four screws here on the blue part. And then there was one really deep one hidden. So let's see, I still need to get that one out. So I'll go ahead and unscrew that. Um, my husband always tells me to take the batteries out when I'm switch adapting, so I do listen to him and do that. Okay, let's see if it's out. I'm just going to gently yep, pull it apart. All right, so some of the pieces might come apart when you do this, like that. No big deal. I just put them aside. Um, there are springs in here for the turtle, and... Um, when I switch it up to this toy, I always like to do the middle button because I think it has um, the most effect over the toy. The middle button will randomize music and light up all of the different instruments. So that's the one I typically go for. So when you look into the turtle, you want to open it up. And it is so hard to see. I am so sorry, you all. There is a yellow wire down at the bottom. Ooh, that might work a little bit easier for you guys. Yellow wire down at the bottom. We're going to be switch adapting this yellow wire. So what you're going to be doing, I don't know if you can see that. This is not the, the best. There we go. We're going to be switch adapting this yellow wire down here. Let me see if I can totally take off the top part. There we go. We're still connected via, via wires. All right, so this yellow wire right here. There we go. So we're gonna be switch adapting that one. So the first thing you need to do, I take my scissors and I am going to go ahead and cut right up here, cut toward the turtle head because we no longer want the red button to activate it, right? So now I have two wires here. Let me show you. Two wires here, okay? So it still connects, connects to the board. I hope this is postable. Okay, so I have my two wires, okay? Now what I'm going to do, this is kind of a new step if you guys have been following me. 
I am going to take my drill and I have to plug it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole over here. That way I can put in my stereo extension cable. So let me show you. I need it to be a little longer. So I cut my stereo extension cable. Okay, you need the end with the hole in it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my drill. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill and I'm gonna drill a hole basically anywhere where I'm not gonna hit a wire or there's not a thick metal plastic piece inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill right here. Hold it pretty still. All right, and I went ahead, now you can see I have a hole. All right, so now what you're going to do is the stereo extension cable you cut has the hole at the end. You're going to go ahead and strip this, okay? You're gonna take your wire stripper. You're gonna go ahead and put it, I believe it's number 12. So you're going to twist and pull up. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room and you can too if you've if you're not familiar with switch adapting toys okay so here we go red white yellow sometimes there's blue in here you only need two I always use red and white so I'm just going to snip this out so now I have two wires so basically what we're going to be doing now is taking the two wires that we cut in the turtle and connecting them to the two wires here. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip this down to the wiring. I believe it's copper. It is too little to use the stereo extension cable. I'm sorry, to use the wire stripper. So now you can see the two wires now have the copper sticking out. I'm going to do the same thing with the two wires in the turtle, okay? This is gonna be really tricky because you don't have a lot of room to do this. All right, so be very careful. Again, I sometimes use my thumbnail when I'm stripping these wires. Just like I did with my stereo extension cable, I'm going to be doing the same thing to these two yellow wires. All right, here we go. So. The yellow wire is still connected to the circuit board. When I cut the yellow wire, remember, I was cutting it here because it's attached on the other side to the red center button. Okay, so here we are. Now what you're going to do is you are going to take your stereo extension cable and you are going to feed it through this little hole that you created. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. And you'll see why when I'm finished. So now what I've done is I've created a hole for my switch port. I'm going to take my zip tie and zip it as close as I can to the inside of the toy so that way if it gets pulled, it doesn't pull the wiring or it doesn't pull it out. So let me show you so far what I've done. Maybe I should hire a videographer. <laughs> okay, so now you can see if I pull this, it's not going anywhere. For right now, it's not going anywhere. Okay. All right. So now I have my toy. I have my stereo extension cable, okay? And I have my two wires in here. I'm going to take my two wires and one side of the yellow wire will be connected to one side of my stereo extension cable. 
and then the other side of my yellow wire will be connected to the other side of my stereo extension cable. So let me do that and then I will show you. Looking at the time. Okay. And there's one side and I twist them together. Okay, I will show you up close in just a moment. And here's the other one. I may have made my little stereo extension cable too long, but. Okay, here's my other side. I'm just going to twist them together. And I will show you exactly what I have done. And fold down. So let me show you now what this looks like. One cable from the turtle to the wire. One cable from the turtle to the wire. That's a little bit better. Okay. So at this point now, this is where you could use electrical tape just to secure the two wires together. You could use a hot glue gun or you could solder them together. Um, I, I like a hot glue gun because I feel that if I'm at school and these wires come undone, I'll have my hot glue gun probably. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover one side and then cover the other side. You always wanna make sure the two sides of the wires do not touch each other because that would activate the toy. All right. So let me show you now what I have. This now should be a complete circuit. Hot glue is there on both sides. We're gonna let it dry for just a minute. While I let it dry, we're gonna put our batteries back in. We have really torn this poor turtle apart. We're gonna to have to get them back together. <laughs> All right, so let's stick our batteries back in. We'll turn them on and we'll see if he, well, or she works. One, two, three. All right, now, if I press this button, nothing will happen because we already cut the wires from this button. So what I'm going to have to do, kind of put him back together a little bit, is I'm going to go ahead and put my switch now, and clear my desk space a little bit. Plug in my switch. Make sure my turtle is on. Whoops. Yeah, and he or she works. So let me show you what this looks like with the switch in. And this is such a nice way to do it because if, you know, something pulls or the switch gets knocked over, you know that it won't pull the wiring within. So that is how you switch adapt the little sea turtle. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you were able to see that. Um, I'm, I'm getting better as videos go on at knowing what angles and how to improve, but thanks so much for checking this one out today.